Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning students. Morning sir. Good morning, sir. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Okay, before we start, let recite Al Basmala. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Okay, so today, today's topic it's about uh, using the word for example and friends. Yeah, not only for example, but there are some other words or phrase which is very similar. And I believe you use that a lot in your conversation, but maybe you forgot. Okay. Have you used your, the word, for example, in your conversation? Or before we start, before we go further, uh, do you know what does it mean, for example? Yes. Do you know what does it mean, for example? Hello. Contoh, sir. Ah, okay, that's right. Sebagai con, contoh. Okay, so before that, let me introduce you the objective of our learning today. So first, you will be able to identify the structure of using for example, such as for instance, and EG. Yeah. And then the next objective is uh, you will be able to identify the difference of using for example, such as sorry, this is such as such as for, for instance, and EG. And the next is stating proper usage of, for example, and such as. And the last but not the least, identify the punctuation of the sentence using, for example, and such as. Okay, these are our learning objectives today. Do you know what does mean punctuation? What does it mean punctuation? Punctuation means is? Nobody Fungsi. knows? What? Fungsi. Uh, punctuation meaning is tanda baca. ya? Tanda. Tanda baca. Tanda penulisan like comma or full stop. Okay. Okay. So the... Let's start. Kind of phrase. Yeah, kinds of phrase. Yeah. So when we are talking about, uh, for example, such as, uh, for instance, and e.g., it's divided into two phrases. Phrases used within a sentence and phrases used to begin a new sentence. Uh, maybe you still confused. Oh, what does it mean? The meaning is using, for example, for instance, such as can be in the middle of the sentence. You are within the sentence. It means the middle of the sentence. And number two, it can be used in the beginning of the new sentence. The beginning of the new sentence. Right, so again, today we are talking about using for example, such as for instance and eg. So what are we talking today? What are we, what are our, what is our topic today? Tell me please. For, for example. Yeah, Rahma again. For example, sir. Yeah, for example, 
for instance such as and eg okay those phrase can be used in the middle of the center or we call within a sentence di tengah-tengah kalimat and also we can use that in the beginning of the new sentence permulaan awal uh, awal uh, permulaan kalimat ba atau awal kalimat ba baru understand okay here for example for instance such as and eg so this phrase each phrase can be used within a sentence when it is followed by a list of item which elaborate or show example for the main idea of the sentence so this phrase can be used in the middle of the sentence yeah this can be in the middle of the sentence when it is followed by a list of item when it after this after this phrase it's followed by a list of item jadi ikuti oleh beberapa item beberapa kata item item terdiri dari items and uh, those item elaborate or show example for the main idea of the sentence dan item itu menjelaskan atau menunjukkan contoh-contoh daripada uh, kalimat utama kalimat tersebut ya nah, you will understand yeah when we are talking about the the real i mean the example okay <laughs> look at this example yeah i can play quite a few musical instruments for example the flute the guitar and the piano Right. Before we talk further, can you find the word for example here? What is the word for example here? Can you hear me? There is no one. Where are the students? Come on. For example, sir. Ah, where is it here, right? Okay, so what is coming after for example? For example is followed by what here? By the item, yeah? Now, what is coming yes, after for example? The flute, the guitar, and the piano. Okay? Now, this is what we call item. These are items. This is, for example, and this is the item. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Ah, for where is the position of, for example, in the beginning of the sentence or in the within in the sentence? In the within, sir. What? In the within. Within, in the uh, yeah, in within the sentence, within the sentence, yes, di tengah-tengah kali kalimat. So when, for example, is within the sentence, this is the way how to write that. So remember, here we are talking about the punctuation. Kita sebenarnya sini belajar membuat atau me, menulis punctuation, tanda baca ya. So The most important thing is here is what, how and then where do we have to put comma here? Where is the comma? Can you find the comma here? Comma here before, for example, there is comma here. Yes, or no? Yes. Yes, sir. And after, for example, there is a comma here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, And sir. after the first item, comma. Yeah. Yes, sir. And yes, sir. the second, comma. Second item, comma. And then the piano. Yeah. 
Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, is there any new update yeah, between comma before noun eh, before n? Uh, yang per, yang sekarang ada pers, ada perbedaan ya. Yeah. Apakah kita menaruh koma sebelum n atau tanpa koma sebelum n? Nah itu biar ada dua versi gitu ya. So kita taruh aja koma di sini ya. We gonna put koma here. So again, koma is before for example, after for example. Yes. And here because there are why do we have to put koma here? Why do you have to put koma here? Because there are three. How many items here? Ada berapa bentuk kata benda di sini? There are three. Number one, number two, number three. Because there are three, there are three items. That's why the first item here we have to put koma, and then here. But if there is no, if there are only two items, do we have to put comma here? For example, like the flute and piano. Do we have to put comma here or not? Kalau itemnya cuma dua, apakah kita harus menaruh comma di sini? No, sir. No. Yeah. Tidak. Nah, so why do we have to put comma here? Ini kenapa pakai comma? Because the items more than one. Two, sir. Oh, that's right. Very good. Because the item is more than two. Okay. Any problem? Okay. No, now, so okay. now please tell me where is the for example where is the position for example here? Position for example di mana ini? In the within of sentence, sir. Yeah, within the sentence. Yeah, within the sentence or in the middle of the sentence. Where do we have to put comma? Yes, sir. Di mana saja kita harus meletakkan komanya? Before, for example, and after Be the example. That's right. Yeah, before, for example, and after, for example. Dan sini... How? Yes, sir. Ini gimana? Kalau yang di sini gimana? The flute, the guitar, and the piano ini bagaimana penaruhan komanya? When the item is more than three, then we have to put comma in the first item and then the second item, right? How about yes, if it is only two items? Uh, we don't need to put the comma, sir. That's right. We I don't need. We don't need to put the com, comma. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay. So next is I can play quite a new, the few musical instruments. For instance, the flute, the guitar, and the piano. Okay. So what do you think? The first sentence and the second sentence. What is the difference? The first sentence used for example, for example, sir. While the second sentence uh, used for instance. All right. So, is there any similarity, or is there any difference in the punctuation? I think. Is there any difference in the punctuation or not? Dalam tanda bacanya yeah, ada perbedaan. No, no, sir. There is no difference. So, for example, and for instance, they work similar, ya. Yeah? Cara kerjanya, they are working very similar, right? Right, sir. Okay, there is no difference in using, for example, and for instance, uh, in terms of punctuation, ya, yeah, nggak ada bedanya. So they are similar. The only problem is, for example, one is for example, one is for instance. The next is, I can play quite a few musical instruments, comma, e.g., comma, the flute, the guitar, and the piano. And what about the third example? What do you think? 
Is there any difference? What is the difference? Can you find the difference? Yes? Can you? I think it's no difference, sir. There is no difference. Yeah. E full stop, G full stop, and then co comma. So, for example, for instance, and E, G, they work simi similar in writing the punctuation. Yes. Okay, now we come to the last, to the full example. I can play quite a few musical instruments, comma, such as the flute, the guitar, and the piano. All right, so can you find the difference? Who can tell the difference between uh, the last example and the first example? What is the difference? The difference is uh, before such as, we have to put the comma, mm -hmm. and then after the such as, we don't need to put comma, sir. Okay, very good. That's right. Yeah. And what is the similarity? What is the similarity among this uh, uh, between the first example and the last example? When the mention, uh, when to mention, mention the item, mm -hmm. we have to put the comma, sir. Ah, okay. After. Why we have to put comma here? Because the item more than one, sir. More than one. Okay. So the most important thing is when we are using such as, such as, comma, and then after such as is, uh, the comma is after uh, noun, yeah. There is no comma before or after such as. And the similarity of this is all of them place in the beginning of the sentence or within the sentence. Within sentence, sir. Within sentence, very good, yeah. So all of these sentences, the position or for example, are in the middle in the middle of the sentence yeah in the middle of the sentence or within the sentence so that's what we are talking about uh phrase use in the middle of the sentence or within the sentence i hope you understand the difference and they have any problem question feel free to ask and pertanyaan feel free to ask silakan tanya no, sir. Okay. Then we move to the next slide. Now we move to the next slide. Okay. So now be careful with this one. The phrase such as can be used in the middle of a sentence without any commas. We can use such as in the middle of the sentence and we don't need comma there. Yeah, for example, car companies such as Toyota and Ford manufacture their automobiles in many different countries around the world. We don't need comma here. What is wrong? Harusnya bagaimana? Harusnya. Kalau uh, the rule at the, uh, we learned at the, uh, the previously. Previously, we learned how to well, how to write such as seharusnya. It's supposed to be like what? Kalau when we are using such as, how should be? Harusnya bagaimana? We we, we put the comma after such as. Yeah, before such as we put call comma, but yes. Yeah, before such as, we have to put comma. But here, we can use in the middle of the sentence, but we don't need comma here. This is an example. Car companies as Toyota 
and Ford manufacture their automobiles in many different countries around the world. Is, what is the difference between uh, the number one and number uh, the, the previous sentence and this sentence? So this one, I can play quite a few musical instruments such as the flute, the guitar, and the piano. And here, car companies such as Toyota and Ford manufacture their automobiles in many different countries around the world. Okay, here is the explanation. You may be wondering why there are no commas. Kenapa ini? Kamu mungkin bingung nih. Why there are no commas here? The answer is simple. The words after such as are necessary and essential to the meaning of the sentence. See, the word, the words after such as. What is the word after such as? Toyota and Ford. Yes. Toyota uh, such as necessary and essential is penting, right? To the meaning of the sentence. If you take out, if you don't use that word, I mean in Toyota and Ford, you, you take it out. Yeah, if you take those words, the meaning will change. Maka artinya akan berubah. The change, the, the, the meaning is changing. For example, like, Car companies manufacture their automobile in many different countries around the world. Is the is uh, do you think the meaning is similar or different? If I translate into Indonesian, ya perusahaan-perusahaan mobil seperti Toyota dan Ford memproduksi mobil-mobil mereka itu di berbagai macam berbagai negara di seluruh dunia. It's number one. And number two, perusahaan-perusahaan mobil memproduksi mobil-mobil mereka itu di banyak negara seluruh dunia. So what does it mean when we are talking about these car companies and these car companies as just Toyota and Ford? Harusnya kan yang memproduksi uh, mobil-mobil mereka itu di banyak negara di seluruh dunia itu tidak semua perusahaan-perusahaan mobil. For example like Mercedes, BMW, Ford maybe ya. Mereka tidak memproduksi mobil mereka itu di setiap negara di banyak negara di seluruh dunia. Ya. Hanya perusahaan Toyota dan Ford yang memproduksi Ah, saya tadi saya bilang salah Ford tadi ya. Ford, Ford tadi saya salah tadi. Gak masuk Mercedes. Jadi yang memproduksi mobil, perusahaan-perusahaan mobil yang memproduksi mobilnya di berbagai macam, berbagai negara di seluruh dunia itu cuma perusahaan Toyota dan Ford saja. Tapi kalau kita bilang car companies manufacture, their, berarti semua perusahaan mobil, no exception, Ford, Mercedes, Audi, apalagi BMW, ya, Yamaha, or others, ya, itu memproduksi. So, do you think the meaning is different or not? Beda kan artinya? Beda apa enggak artinya? Halo? Beda, sir. Beda, ya. Kalau di sini cuma Toyota dan Ford. Nah, di sini seluruh perusahaan mobil faktanya cuma Toyota dan Ford. Ah, so we cannot, we can. So this one, the word Toyota and Ford, Toyota and Ford is very important, very essential. Ini sangat dibutuhkan di kalimat ini. Karena dia dibutuhkan, maka dia di sini tidak membutuhkan koma. Car companies such as Toyota and Ford manufacture their automobiles in many different countries around the world. Nah, biasanya itu diikuti oleh kata kerja manufacture sini. Maka so that's why it does not need ko, koma. You cannot put car companies koma such as Toyota and Ford man, manufacture their automobiles. Gak bisa. Jadi dia harus dia harus ini sambung ya. There is no comma. Understand? Ya, yeah, ketika so you have to be careful. Yeah, when this position, when the phrase or the sentence is kind of this sentence, you must be careful. Uh, there is no comma after before such as. 
All right, phrase used to begin a new sentence. Usually only for example and for instance can begin new sentence. Each can begin new sentence when the phrase is followed by a complete idea of sentence, not the list of item. Okay, that you have to be careful here. Only for example and for instance can begin new sentence. Such as cannot start at the beginning of the sentence. Only for example and for instance. Yang bisa digunakan di awal kalimat baru. And each, dan itu kapan? Each can begin a new sentence when the phrase is followed by a complete idea of a sentence. Ketika a phrase tadi, uh, for example, dan for instance itu diikuti oleh kalimat lengkap. Bukan diikuti oleh items. Dia diikuti kalimat lengkap, bukan dari items-item tadi. Understand? Oke, okay, here is an example. My father loves going to restaurants which serve exotic foods. Full stop. Ya, nah ini full stop. Ya. My father loves going to the restaurant which serve exotic foods. Full stop. Ini kalimat, satu kalimat. For example, and then we're using for example here. For example, comma, last week he went to the restaurant which served deep fried rattlesnake. Oh my God. Ya, contohnya, last week he went to the restaurant which served deep fried rattlesnake. So this is what I mean. Phrase, for example, and for instance, Use at the beginning of a new sentence. Ini digunakan di awal kalimat, di kalimat baru ya. Dan syaratnya tadi adalah kalimat berikutnya itu not list of item. They are not list of, of item. But they it should be a complete sentence or complete idea. Tapi dia harus diikuti oleh kalimat lengkap. Bukan terdiri dari items, items. Nah, baru li, barulah for example itu bisa diletakkan dalam awal kalimat. And then the way of the the way of writing the punctuation is yeah of course because this is new uh, another sentence. They have to be full stop here because this is full stop and then you have to put capit you have to capitalize the sentence at the word the letter here. Karena di full stop, so you must put the capital letter here for, not comma, but for is a comma after example, but before exa for example, you don't need to put comma. Understand? Yeah. What about what about for instance? Yeah, just the same like that. Yeah, my father loves going to the restaurant which serve exotic foods. For instance, last week he went to the restaurant which serve deep fried rattlesnake. Yeah, same here. For example, and for instance can be used in the new sentence, the beginning to begin a new sentence. Yeah, can be used to begin a new sentence. Okay, I have a question now. When can when can for instance and for example can be used in the in the beginning of the sentence who can answer me who can answer me please answer my question when can when can for example and for instance used in new to begin a new sentence Yes. When the press, when the press is followed by the sentence idea, like that, sir. Complete idea or complete sentence. Sentence. Yeah. Not the list of item. Very good. Yeah. Can you repeat once again, Sis Karahmawati? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you repeat once again? When can, for example, and for instance, can be put in the, to begin the sen new sentence? For complete the sentence or complete the idea, sir. Okay, and not, not 
list, not list the item of items. And how do we write the punctuation when it's the beginning of the sentence? What, sir? When, uh, how do we write the punctuation? Bagaimana penulisan, penulisannya when, for example, and for instance, is uh, to begin a new sentence? Gimana nulisnya? Punctuationnya gimana? Um, after, for example, there is comma, sir. After, for example, there is co comma. comma. And before-nya, ya kalimatnya harus full stop and then di, di, diawali dengan capital letter. Ya, yeah. oke. Okay. Very good. Understand? Yes, sir. Okay, now we're gonna do exercise now. Before we finish the lesson, there is an exercise for you. Okay, here is the exercise. Okay, so then you have to correct the sentence. The sentence may be not in a good one, not good sentence, the punctuation I mean. Hesun or Hasan, yeah? Yeah, Hesun has met many famous people. For example, one time she met Jack Chirac, Zok Chirac. Is this a good sentence or not? No, good punctuation sir. or not? No, sir. What should be here? What is wrong here? After, for example, should be comma, sir. Comma, that's right. It should be comma, okay? So the position of, for example, in the middle of the sen uh, in the middle of the sentence or to begin a new sentence. In the middle sentence, sir. The middle of the sentence? The beginning. To begin a new sentence or a middle of the sentence? Yeah. The position of, for example, here to begin a new sentence or in the middle of the sentence? To begin, sir. What? Clearly, I cannot hear you well. You repeat once again? Begin, sir. To begin a new sentence. Okay, very good. Next, number two. When I go camping, I bring lots of things. For example, a fishing rod, matches, and a sleeping bag. Is it a good sentence or not? No, sir. No, what is wrong? What, can you correct that? Because after, for example, is followed by a list, uh, list item. Mm -hmm. So there, uh, it's not, it should be within, in the sentence, sir. It should be within the sentence, yeah. So Hannah, how do you write the, the punctuation here? Punctuation-nya gimana? After uh, things, is the there is comma mm -hmm. and then for example uh, the f nya itu huruf kecil sir yeah a small letter okay and then itu saja sir and then after for example there is comma again comma okay comma small letter comma okay very good the next question the next example exercise Joyce has studied many Asian languages, for instance, Korean, Chinese, and Thai. This is must be full stop. Yeah, is it a good sentence or not? No, sir. Okay, so what should be the right one? Before, for for before, for instance, uh, should we use uh, the comma? Comma? Huh? And? And after, for instance, we we use the comma again. Comma. Okay, very good. Here, we have comma or not? Korean, Chinese, and Thai. Do we have to put comma here? Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Why? Because that's items, sir. More than? One. Two. 
more than two items. Yeah. Okay, the last exercise is this one. Yuan loves rock musicians from the 1970s, such as Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin. And? What about this? Okay. Who will answer? Is it good sentence or not? That's good, sir. Good? Is it good? Is it good? Is it good sentence? Do you have to put comma before, before such as? Sebelum such as, ada koma apa enggak? Yes, sir. Ya, setelah item ada koma apa enggak? No, no sir. sir. No, jadi sentence ini sih betul apa salah? Salah, sir. Salahnya di mana? Before such as, there is no comma, sir. Oh, okay, that's right. Before such as, there is no comma. Dan setelah Jimi Hendrix, ya tidak ada koma. Because it's only two I two items. Okay, that's all. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, do you have question? Do you have questions? No? No, sir. This sir, the... uh, yeah. I want to ask you, sir. <laughs> okay, please. Sir, uh, what is the EG, e e sir? EG? Is this a stand for of uh, I forgot the what is this is stands for, but we can you can check. EG is also example, but it is the stand the construction. Itu singkatan uh, apa namanya kayak bahasa Spanyol gitu ya, bahasa Spanish atau Perancis gitu ya. Well, let me find okay, it. Sir. Okay, let yes, me sir. find it. Okay. Here, exempli gracia. Yeah. EG okay, is sir. the abbreviation for the Latin phrase exempli gracia. Ya, yeah, itu bahasa that is Latin ya. Yeah. Exempli gratia. So it's, it's some something like yeah, for example, but it's also used in English. Exempli gratia. Ya, yeah, if you if you want to know more about that. I mean, if you know, we want to want to know the what EG stands for. That is exempli gratia, gratia. So it's is Latin. Okay, sir. Thank okay. you, sir. You're welcome. Any other question? Right. If there is no more question. I think uh, that is the end of our lesson today. Thank you very much for joining our class today. And we close by reciting Alhamdulillah. 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 Thank you very much for joining. And have a nice day. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.